About three years ago, I found the world of reselling name brand products on Amazon. And 10 months later, I had sold over $1 million and made well over $100,000 in profit. But the number one issue for 99% of beginner Amazon sellers is finding profitable products, leading to wasting tons of time and money with the wrong methods. My name is Miles, and in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest and most simple way to consistently find profitable products to sell on Amazon step by step. To start off, I want to show you guys an example of what a winning product looks like. We can see I'm currently taking a look at this Nike hoodie that's on sale on the Shields website. Just thinking to yourself, you've probably seen people wearing this in person, and it's pretty nicely on sale from $65 down to about $49. If we take a look over on Amazon, we can see this current size is going for about $96 in the buy box. That's a really important term you need to know if you're a complete beginner. It's here at 96 in the buy box. Now, a lot of people think as a beginner, you're going to need a ton of expensive and complicated software. That couldn't be further from the truth. To find profitable name brand products on sites like Kohl's, Walmart, Target, Shields, like we just took a look at, etc., you only need two pieces of really cheap software. The first one is going to be Selleramp, which is right here. This is our product research tool. Selleramp essentially is very helpful for calculating the exact net profit an item is going to make because that's incredibly important to know that data because obviously there's shipping, there's Amazon fees, there's product cost, there's sales tax. And especially as a beginner, you need to know exactly how much you're going to make on a specific item here. So for example, we can see Selleramp's currently telling us our max cost is $55. But as we know, we can pick it up for $49 on the Shields website. So if we go ahead and plug this in, the cool thing, guys, is I already have my shipping to Amazon factored in and sales tax of 5% factored in here on my Selleramp calculator. So I don't need to do mental math to have that in. It's already factored in. So we can see that leaves about $23 profit and a 46% ROI on this specific item. Now, what we also need to know is how fast this product sells, which comes from taking a look at the BSR, otherwise known as best sellers rank or sales rank, which is how fast a product sells. Now, the basics of sales rank is the lower the sales rank, the faster the item sells. So a 1,000 sales rank sells faster than a 5,000 sales rank, which sells way faster than a 50,000 sales rank. If you're a beginner, for the most part, you want to stay below a 150,000 sales rank. So we know that this specific item currently sells quick and it's currently nice and profitable. Basic product research criteria as a beginner is sub 150,000 sales rank, $3 plus profit per unit and 30% plus return on investment, maybe a little bit higher um, for shoes and such that might be returned a little bit more and maybe a little bit lower for grocery and beauty products. Specifically, that won't be returned as much, right? Now, the other piece of software I like using is going to be known as Keepa. If we scroll down here, we can see Keepa is basically stock charts for Amazon products, and it lets me see how fast a product has sold, how much competition there is, and what the price is over time. So we can see this listing has been around for 1,700 days, right? That's like five years or something like that. So we can see the entire price history on this product over time. That helps us reduce risk like crazy because we know if this product has been profitable for a while. Now, when you first get Keepa, it's probably going to show three different charts. I'd recommend clicking this sub ranks button right here to show only two charts and then primarily focusing on the three month data right here. Right now, taking a look at these two charts here, we can see the top chart in green is going to show the sales rank. So that's the demand over time. We can see the sales ranks going up on this product because the weather's getting a little warmer. However, if we take a look at the last year, we can see that even during June and July, the sales rank was still 14,000. So people are buying hoodies year round. And then the pink line is going to be the buy box line. This is where you want to make sure it's been nice and profitable over time in that we can see that even at 78, we're probably still making money. Let's see, 78 here, which is what it was like a month ago. Yeah, we're still profitable. We're definitely not where we want to be. But that was like over a month ago right there. We've been hanging out here at about 96 for a while. Right, so taking a look there, we can see that puts us nice and profitable. And then what we also want to do is make sure that the competition isn't too high on this product. Now, I get the question all the time, how much competition is too much? And it's all about the trend of it because there's listings all buy that ha have had 100 sellers on it for a while, but the price is nice and stable. So as long as the price is stable or going up and the competition, the bottom chart is stable or going down, we can see this specific item here. It's been nicely trending down since about November. We know that this item sells considering that the offer count, the seller count, has consistently dropped and it's been dropping for a while, right? So we know that this is a positive trend on this product here. 
So this is an example of what a winning product looks like. And what we'd also want to do is go through the variations tab on Keepa and go ahead and filter top to bottom by buy box price to see if there's other variations that might potentially be good. Like for example, this charcoal gray 3XL, they might have that over on uh, Shields as well. If they do, nice and profitable, right? We want to take a look at all these other sizes and such. So another question I get super often is how do I tell which size sells best? It all comes down to the individual Keepa chart for that specific size and common sense around that a, you know, a medium is going to sell a lot quicker than a three extra large tall, for example. However, we can see this black hoodie is a two extra large tall and this offer count chart right here on Keepa still has nice oscillation there. So if you're a complete beginner and you're looking for full seller amp and Keepa tutorials, or if you're interested in getting on gated, I have those on my channel. So check them out after this video. Now, how do we actually find winning products from here? What we're going to do is call the storefront stalking method. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the variations and I'm going to filter by off count to find a nicely populated variation with 20 plus sellers here. Yeah, when it's like one of these variations is like 80 sellers, 50 sellers, et cetera. This specific listing is pretty low competition, so I want one with more sellers right there. And what we're going to do is click on like this one as 36 here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here on seller amp and we're going to take a look at what the other sellers that are selling this product are selling. Because if they're on this listing and it's an online arbitrage product, as most Nike products are, we're going to be able to see they have a pretty similar business model. So they're probably buying from similar websites. And so we can reverse engineer their success, especially if they have a lot of reviews, to find more winning products from here. So scrolling down here on Sellam, I can now see all the different sellers that are selling this product. And now I can take a look and see all the different products that they sell. So I want to find sellers that have like 50 plus reviews, for example, so like 57 or 40 plus reviews, right? So we can see all these different sellers that we know are making money based on their review count. You could just open up everyone too here, right? And so now taking a look here, we can see all their different winning, all their different products that they're selling, right? So we can see this seller has, you know, a ton of Nike products and a lot of Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein, for example, right? This seller's got mostly Nike products, right? So we can take a look here and see all these different examples of what these sellers are carrying and such, right? So we can see the seller's got a bunch of Yankee Candle stuff, right? And they got only a little bit of Nike, for example, right? And so what we wanna do here, guys, is as we open up these different sellers, we're getting tons of inspiration for other winning product brands and other fast selling products to go out and take a look at, right? So for example, if we stay with Nike for this example, right, and we filter into Nike products, we can now see that, okay, this listing has a 31K rank, so we know that this sells well, so we'll open that up. This listing has a 500K rank, so this doesn't sell as well, so we're not gonna worry about that. This listing has an 18K rank, so we know that this sells well, we're gonna open up that, right? And so we can go on and just open up all these listings that we see are selling quick and go ahead and take a look at this stuff too. Then if you guys stick around, I'm gonna show you some really good cheat codes for the stuff as well at the end too. So let's see, we already found the hoodies good, 60K rank for these blazers, Right, you're also just thinking as you're looking at this stuff, especially with Nike, you see people wearing this stuff in person. So it makes sense that they're buying it on Amazon, right? And we can see that's backed up, taking a look at the demand here. We can see this proximity, the uh, the sales rank is going up, makes sense that the weather's getting warmer, people are buying sweatpants less, or if it's still a 30K rank, people are still buying this stuff, right? So now we can scroll through here, guys, and see tons of examples of stuff that's selling quick here. Right, and now all we need to be able to do is find a certain percentage of the stuff profitable here. We can see this specific listing here is about a 200K rank, so that uh, sells a little bit slower. However, if we take a look at the pricing and the Cupid chart, we can actually see that this price has been incredibly rock solid here, and there's really nice oscillation in the offer count here down below. So this might be something we can pursue. So if we all we need to do is go ahead here and click the Google button, right, and now we can see all the different websites that carry this product here. So now. We want to, okay, so they got a two pack here for 22 on Shields, a uh, two pack here for 22 on WSS, and it looks like we have about a 20% off coupon. So if we go ahead and plug that in, 22, take off 20%, right? So just about 20%, we multiply that, 5.8, take off that discount here, right? We can see about $2 profit, not quite there, right? I think it was, oh, okay, Champs here, yeah, let's see. So Champs here has them for 12. That's really nice and profitable here. Right. Once again, the rank's a little bit high, but I can see nice oscillation and, the, and a lot of stability on this Keepa chart. That's nice and profitable. The problem is this size large is currently out of stock. So that's actually, unfortunately, not going to be something we can make money on today. What I will do is I'm going to scroll down here on Selleramp and one-click export this out to an, almost, or to an out of stock spreadsheet. 
And then I'm going to go in and put a link to this so I can track this product over time in case it restocks so I can take advantage of that. So that's not good, right? So let's see. Now these hoop backpacks, what I immediately look at is the max cost. So 56 bucks or less is what we need to pay. Ideally right around like 50 or less. We can see, okay, yeah. So hanging out right here at like 87, definitely not going to work. Um, yeah, even if we add like a 25% off coupon, which I doubt we do. Let's see, you can always click into it and see though. Yeah, okay, and it says not eligible for discounts. That's absolutely not gonna work here. Right, and storefront stocking is just the fastest way by far to just find quick selling listings fast that you know are validated because other resellers are making money on. Let's see, so we got these uh, duffel bags here. Uh, 31, if there's any sort of coupon on uh, Kohl's, that's gonna make that good. 31 into 50, not quite there. Uh, we can see. There is some buy box share going a little bit higher. Yeah, close to like 55 and such in the past. So it might get back there. See at 56 here and such. Obviously not every listing is going to be good. Okay, women's core natures. So let's go ahead here and hit the variations and see. I like filtering top to bottom by buy box price or top to bottom by lowest price here. So we can see about 85 bucks. I think I might be able to find these for like 40 bucks, which is going to make them nice and profitable here. Let's see. See there. Yeah, max cost about 49. Now, this product has no buy box, as we can see right here. Don't be afraid of stuff like that, right? As we can see, this listing is clearly currently selling because I, I can see the off accounts nicely moving there and the price has nicely been stable. And it's actually edging a little bit up um, too. So don't necessarily be afraid of stuff that doesn't have a buy box. Typically, Amazon thinks it's just a little bit too expensive. However, we can see from the Cupid chart that item is still clearly nicely moving. Okay, so we can see, I think this was a little, bit of a little incorrect title here. Um, okay, so let's just buy... Nike Women's Court Legacy, let's plug that in. Okay, so we can see these are, uh, okay, so there's the kids ones right there. The women's ones are about 52 um, right here. So if we plug in 52, that is, okay, about 20% ROI. So I would probably put this on an almost good spreadsheet and write if that gets to like 90 or 95, probably closer to 95 since it's a women's shoe, it'd be it nicely at that 40% ROI, or if there's some sort of coupon we can get. On that so we're going to pass on that item here let's see these blazers here let's see and that's the nice thing about storefront stocking is really really quick you can get in tons of different reps on stuff that you know sells quick so we can see if we filter by reviews here these are going for like 100 bucks these got a whole bunch of reviews to yeah 450 yeah about a hundred dollar price point here let's see so we want to pay about 50 and we can see um doesn't look like that is possible is there any sort of coupon here on asos that can help us out so we can pick these up for 60 problem is they're a different product um so that definitely doesn't work Probably want to check some of those variations as well here. Let's see. Let's take a look at these guys. Okay, so let's see. So these are like, yeah, 46 here, right? So I feel like we might be able to pay 20 for those. And this is the fastest selling variation too, as I saw it had that little trophy there. Let's see. So this is nicely trending up here. Yeah, look at that competition shooting down. Price nicely going up. Like I said, you want to focus on the three-month data if you're a beginner here. These black-white ones here. Okay, yeah, this website I don't think is legit, unfortunately. He's tw at 22, that looks nice. Let's look these up. Nike Pro Navy shorts. Dark Navy here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. So looks like we got a couple listings that sell quick in these. We want to obviously deduce down to the correct uh, variation here. Let's see. Let's see, they have like a Navy one right here. That one's not the right Navy. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah Nike Pro. Okay, so let's see. So we got extra small, extra large, and 2XL. Okay, so we got, okay, that small is out of stock here. Let's see, yeah, 41. So let's see. So we're paying, uh, if that small was in stock, we'd be paying about 20 into 42. That would be nice and profitable. Once again, just another out of stock. Um, I know specifically here. Let's check the variation and see if we can do anything on these guys here. Top to bottom by price. We can see this is going for like 49 here. And we can see nice oscillation of offer count here as well. So we know that this item sells. So we want to pick this guy up for 25 or less here um, and such. Let's see. So our max cost is, let's see, max cost is 28 here. Let's see. So at 28, we probably want that a little bit larger since it's a women's item. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Bingo. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Black, iron, gray, 23 bucks right here. So we're here at 23, right? Like I said, sales tax already factored in. Now, this is a really good sales rank. It does say 43 estimated sales per month. What I assume that is, is yeah, okay, that makes perfect sense. So if we take a look here, see how the sales rank was historically higher? What that probably is, is this is the detached variation that became a good, that got attached to the listing that has all the variations. Like this was essentially its own variation floating out across Amazon. Now it's back to being a main on the main listing here. 
and we'd see this has been nice and profitable over time, even at 44 and such where it's been like that's hanging out nice and profitable there. And it's historically closer to 52 rare. So we know this listing sells quick, as I can see on the Keepa chart and the sales rank it has reviews and it's nice and profitable. 16 bucks profit and a 68% ROI after shipping fees, sales tax and everything. That's not a bad situation whatsoever. Also, really just can't understand enough how important it is to understand far and away the number one mistake beginners make is expecting items to be profitable at the advertised price. So I highly recommend considering, or you're really going to have to, to make stuff good, adding in all these different discounting methods, right? Coupons on the free extensions. So you want to make sure you get all these free extensions, Capital One Shopping, Be Frugal, Retail Me Not, Coupon Birds, Top Cash Back and Rakuten. A lot of websites are also just going to have email account and text signup coupons that are kind of just going to pop up or like show on the website. If you go on Dick's Sporting Goods and scroll to the bottom, you'll see an example of that. You can also find lots of coupons just on Google or asking customer service as well. Like if you go ahead and like we saw, um, if you go ahead and Google just for locker coupons here, like you nicely find a link to a beautiful 20% just on their website, right? So you'd be shocked how much you can find just Google and stuff, honestly. Card Bear and Top Cash Back are really good. I probably could have made some of the items we found in this video uh, more profitable if I was factoring in gift cards from Card Bear and Top Cash Back. It's a really good resource. Also, rewards programs like Kohl's Cash and utilizing a tax exempt certificate or a resource certificate. It's the same thing for RA and wholesale purchase and occasionally for OA. Not all websites are going to take it though. Hopping on listings quick, FBM are really good. That's where you ship the product directly to the customer, right? We can see as much people FBMing on this specific listing right here as well holiday sales with easter coming up this weekend that's going to be huge as well as stacking these opportunities together so like coupon code and gift card or sale gift card and coupon code like you'd be shocked how many opportunities you have to combine these discounts too right also just keeping good seller and people sheets like i showed you guys is really really important for staying organized because a lot of products are profitable at certain times throughout the year even if they're not profitable today and just smart repricing above the buy box once you have 10 plus aces, it's going to make sense to use a repricing software. So if you can just search plus or miles repricer, and I'll put a link to this uh, guide here as well. And also using a sales tax free prep center. That's a little bit more of an advanced technique, but once you can send 500 units per month, you can hire what's called, in my opinion, that's what it makes sense. You can hire what's called a prep center in a sales tax free state. So say you live in California and you're paying 10% sales tax. And on a $50 product, you're paying 55. You can now pay 51.50 or 52 utilizing a prep center and avoid that sales tax and not have to worry about the warehouse and stuff like that. So these are a bunch of different ways here. If you got any questions, please let me know, know down below. I'm happy to help um, on that stuff. And then if you're interested in direct one-on-one -on -one help from myself, I am going to leave a link down below for my coaching program application. If you want unparalleled one-on-one -on -one access to me to be around other sellers that are crushing the game, you'll have my personal phone number. You'll be fully expected to text me any questions, check procs with me. We have three group coaching calls a week. I'm going to help you individually find a lot of winning products. We're going to have a one hour live sourcing call on Zoom, just us one on one together right there. You can check that out at the link down below. And if you need more free content, I'm going to leave a link for my free course on the screen and my full on Gator tour on the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe for more.